after all of the rain that we've had, we still need some rain around the area. So people around the city might still be cleaning up their flooded basements, but believe it or not, we are still in a drought here across the area. Joining me now is Regional Drought Information Coordinator for NOAA, Molly Wilazin. So Molly, we've seen a lot of rain in the past week, but most of Chicagoland area is still in a severe or moderate drought. How is that possible? And did any of the rain that we got help at all? Yes, um, I know it definitely can seem counterintuitive, um, but unfortunately, the entire Chicagoland area is still in some level of drought. Um, in fact, we haven't seen this widespread of drought conditions in the area since 2012, which was our region's last major drought. Um, so the problem with the type of rain that fell this past weekend is that there's limited drought relief when really heavy rainfall um, of how much it can actually provide. So with how dry it was before, it's likely that the first couple of inches definitely made a difference and soaked into the ground. But as we saw, much of it just was runoff and created a lot of flooding issues, which limits how much drought relief it can provide. So yes, there are some improvements. Um, Cook County, uh, what was improved on the drought monitor by one category, um, but surrounding areas are still in severe drought and soils are still dry. And any runoff increase that we saw in our streams and rivers is likely short lived after the rain moves through the system. So Molly, how long until this drought really starts to take a toll on our farmers and their crops? You know, we actually have already started to see an impact on crops in the region, especially corn and some specialty crops. So the recent rain definitely has provided some much needed moisture, but it's not really yet clear if it was um, as much help as was needed to combat the early season dryness for the corn. Um, the key factor also is that this rain really needs to continue. Corn is soon entering a really important phase of tasseling. And if you don't have rain during this phase, that can really create some major yield loss. So rain over the next few weeks and months is really important. What advice do you have for people who are trying to keep their lawns green? Is that still possible at this point? You know, I guess some of the good news is that it appears as though there is a greater chance for this wetter pattern to continue, at least in the short term, over the next few weeks and even possibly through the rest of July. So, of course, we hope that this rain doesn't come in the heavy downpour that um, the area saw this weekend. Um, but the drought outlook does show a little bit of improvement for the rest of the month um, for drought. So finally, the world just recorded its hottest day while it was flooding here in Chicago. Do you think we're going to see more of these extreme weather events? You know, predicting exactly what type of weather events we will experience in the future is really tricky and complex. And no one event can really be attributed to climate change. Um, but what the important thing to say is that climate models are showing there is an increased likelihood towards more of these extreme events, whether that's extreme heat, heavy rainfall, or more droughts. And for this part of the country in particular, it is possible that we might see more of this flip-flopping back and forth from too much to too little. And again, that gets complicated with drought relief when the rainfall comes in very heavy downpours. So it's hard to say for sure, um, but in the future, some of these extreme events could be more likely. All right, Molly, thank you so much for joining us. Regional Drought Information Coordinator for NOAA. Thank you, and that was great information. Donna Corey.